Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So I'm finally sitting down filming for you guys a new video. I've just been super, super busy um, with the planning of the whole wedding. And um, as some of you guys may know, or if you follow like on my social media, we did move the date up of our wedding. Um, we initially had it for December, but we moved it up for next month in August. Um, so it's just been having to move everything a little quicker, um, seeing where we're gonna live and all of that. So before I start talking about all of that, let's just jump into the video. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're back, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notifications button so you know when I post a new video. Here we go. I'm gonna be doing a Q&A today for the planning of my wedding. I did a poll on my instagram on my personal instagram i'll put it right here if you guys are not following me um i did a poll on there to see what my next video was going to be if it was going to be a makeup tutorial or if it was going to be um a q a for my wedding and it was 90 percent of you guys that voted for um a q a for my wedding so i will happily film that for you guys um today and if anything, also to what well, I would want to film this, I think it's fun, you know, being able to share this experience with you guys. And as well, I know that when I, um, well, my now fiance, when we were talking about, you know, getting married and taking the next step, um, I did go on YouTube and I looked up a lot about um, how much does a wedding usually cost and, you know, what to expect, kind of, you know, so. Um, I definitely found other videos helpful other videos helpful so um i hope that this is helpful for any future bride out there that is watching this and that it's all helpful for you so yeah let's jump right in um just actually today as well so this is going to be a combination of i did um like um, questions that you guys can ask me on my Instagram and some of you guys did ask some questions so thanks so much for asking and I as well before have have put um, for you guys to ask questions about the wedding and all that stuff so I'm just like pretty much combining everything all these questions and answering them the best way that I can and being transparent and being real and honest as much as I can. Um, so first question, when am I getting married? Um, well, when are you getting married? Um, so like I said, we initially did have, when we first started planning for our wedding or when we started talking about the possibility of, you know, taking the next step and all of that. And of course, we had to come to an agreement. I think it would be a horrible thing for someone to have to go through getting per, uh, proposed to by surprise. And maybe you're not on the same page. So I do think that's, you know, very important. Of course, you have to talk about if it's something that you both agree with and you want to take the next step, if you're both ready. So we talked last year. Um... I think last year we ha we just turned a year like officially 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 dating we've been talking for a while but like officially dating we turned a year this year in february um but we actually started looking at venues last year like in december around there and we just went to go um get quotes on venues and stuff just to kind of see what we were expecting for um price wise and what our budget was you know gonna be and when we went to go look we went to go look at different venues we went to go look at this one venue and of course i'm not going to be saying the names of you know this venue but so we had liked um this venue it was really cheap i think it was like around three thousand dollars around there um for like six hours it came with the dj like full at all the hours um just the table stuff like just the basic linens for the tables and all of that um it just didn't come with like food it did come with unlimited drinks but i do remember it didn't come with food or of course decorations it was kind of more of a bare salon a venue um it didn't really have a lot of decorations they just kind of gave you basic stuff um so i'm like okay you know well it's 
a good price and you know it's within our budget and um elite we still have you know obviously more money to play around with to decorate and all of that so we definitely had that in mind if we had chosen if we were going to go with that venue we knew obviously we were going to spend also money on decorating all of that so we went to go look at a different ones and out of all of them um this was our first choice um and just simply because you know the people were really nice and you know they accepted us they were very welcoming and you know more atentos like more just aware kind of you know of the little details and our questions so just a very on top of like oh you know answering questions just very very lovely people and so we were gonna go with this one initially and you know we were debating it was we were still looking at other venues and then we had made the decision okay you know let's go with this one and i remember i told my fiance like you know go and um tell them that we want this venue text you know the lady because he was like communicating with her and so he texted her and then she just replied saying oh sorry um something with the landlord and they didn't want to renew contracts so they had to close down so the one that we wanted to go with you know eventually went it went out of business so we weren't able you know to go with that one so our second choice was the one that we're gonna have it now and it's called chandelier banquet hall here in las vegas um so yeah we that's the one that we ended up um deciding to go with so once we started um looking for dates at this venue once we knew like for sure we were gonna go with this one um we started initially looking for dates for september but they are very booked it's a very beautiful salon they're very they're booked all year for the so we went into well we went in february to go look you know to get a quote and stuff and see their availability and they had nothing from september until the end of the year of this year they had nothing um no weekends available and they only had one Friday available, and that Friday was December 13th, which in my proposal video, you guys um, hear me say, oh, I get married in like so-and-so days, and I think I do say the date as well. Um, and so we ended up going with that date because it was only Friday available of this year because we wanted to do it a weekend, of course, you know, because of people and work and all of that. Um, and it's funny because I actually landed on my fiance's birthday. So, you know, it's going to be cute and all, whatever. But um, then, you know, we just decided to move the date a little um, sooner. So we went back to the venue and we asked them if we were to, if we were able to uh, change the date. And, you know, obviously we did have to pay a fee to move it. Um closer and yeah so then we decided august 28th of this year so it went from like five months left to like two so that's the date that i'm getting married where are you getting married i just said in chandelier banquet hall i'll probably throughout this whole video i'll probably include photos just so you guys stay you know on pages me and kind of know what i'm talking about <laughs> out better going with this venue simply because i guess it depends on the type of uh wedding that you want if you want something elegant if you want something rustic it just depends on what you want and if you want to decorate it your own way and we just had some friends that got married and their salon was their venue was a little more bare so they decorated the way they wanted to there was was their theirs was a little more rustic and for me i personally want like an elegant looking wedding that's just my personal style um and this venue it's just it has more decoration it looks more full looks more elegant you know and it's just it's a very beautiful um venue so at the end of the day i'm really happy that we ended um up going with this one and so yeah so that's the little venue we're going with i i'll 
try and post pictures, if not pictures, maybe like a video of the salon um, and all of that. What was your inspiration for the dress you chose? Um, for my dress, I initially, I was on Pinterest and I was looking at, you know, different pictures and, um, you can hear when you move, baby. Yeah. Yeah. For my dress, I did, I love Pinterest. I use Pinterest for everything for my ideas. And when I started looking for different types of designs of dresses or styles, uh, I went on Pinterest and I think I was going rather with two, whether I was going to go with a ball gown or a mermaid dress. Um, and I was, you know, in between both of them. And of course, I also did have my budget for my wedding dress. I didn't want to go over um, a certain amount. So I was like, okay, well, um, I've obviously never gone shopping for dresses. So I had to go and look and see um, if the styles that I was going for, rather a ball gown or a mermaid dress, I had to go and look at dresses and see um, what was within my budget. So um, I initially went to um i forgot i forget the um, name of the sh little boutique that i went to but i i got like a little advertisement on instagram that they were having a sale so i'm like okay i'm gonna go look you never know you know and who loves you know a sell everybody so i'm like okay i'll go look but they had nothing and i had gone a saturday in the morning and i didn't even think that i was gonna find my dress i am like, my mom didn't even go with me. Like, it was just my two sisters and a friend of mine. Because we were just going to go, like, just to get an idea on, like, my budget for my dress and get an idea of pricings and all of that. And so I was like, you know what? Like, it's still early. Let's go to David's Bridal. And let's go um, see if there's anything there. So we had gone and the lady was like... Um, if you want to try on dresses, if you find something that you like, if you want to try on dresses, you have to make an appointment. Um, and I told her, oh, well, I'm not, I'm just looking and I don't need to make an appointment. She's like, oh, well, well, for today, we only have an appointment at 3 p.m. So she's like, if you really do want to get, try one on, just let me know. I can um, book you this appointment. Hopefully, if you do find something by the time you come back to me, you know, we'll still have it open. So I'm like, okay, you know, so I just go look and stuff and... We were looking, 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 and I found this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dress. Um, and I ended up going with that one. So the first time that I went to go look for um, dresses and sea salads and stuff, I found my one. Um, I think I have some videos and some pictures. Um, I just won't post it yet simply because I want it to be a surprise for... My fiance, I don't know if you'll see this video, and my guest, um, I want it to be a surprise. So I think on my dress, I'm not going to post anything yet, but I will post pictures of um, of what inspired me for the dress that I chose. And I'll just answer them like probably sometime now. Just so you guys can get an idea, but I'm not going to post my dress until after the wedding, so... Stay tuned for that as well. And blah, blah, blah. so yeah, so that was my inspiration. Rather those those two styles and I found my um, inspiration through Pinterest. Love it. That app. Um, how do you feel getting married at your age? So if you guys do not know, I think on my... One of my other videos, I think I have posted, I have posted, I have said my age. I am 21 years old. I just turned 21 this year in May. Um, I, th I personally think that for my age, I've always been a little more mature than other girls. And I don't say that in a boastful way or anything like that. But um, I mean, I think you guys have met people that just look more mature. I mean, I'm sure maybe one of us have once in our life have told somebody else oh you don't look they're like probably like 16 or 17 like wow you don't look that age you look 20 or 21 and 
and it's because you know the way they conduct themselves they just look mature you know and for their age and i think growing up majority of the time especially like you know my teens and now you know well going into my 20s and stuff a lot of people would think that i was always older um i remember like being 18 19 and people you know would ask me for my age and all stuff and they would say oh like you look like you're like 23 or 24 um and they'll be like oh it's not that because you look older it's just you know the way that you conduct yourself you act a little more richer so um for me personally maybe others can see and look like you're only 21 like how can you finally decide to get married but i think it's it's cool it's awesome being able to be this age and being able to find the person that i'm gonna get married with um and as well you know it just means i get to love my fiance longer so um i don't feel like dang i'm only 21 i'm getting married i feel blessed that i'm able to get married at 21 well that i found my one at 21 and that you know maybe i don't have all of life figured out but up to this point i feel like i do and it's being it's awesome being able to start my journey i guess as an adult if you want to call it like that alongside my fiance well future husband has it been stressful planning i want to say yes it has been and i think anybody it depends on the type of person that you are as well because if you're someone who's a little more laid back and you're kind of like let's just roll with the punches type of thing i think it'll be a little less stressful but if you're someone who likes to be controlling that you're a person who likes to take control of things and maybe you want things done now or uh, stuff like that i think it is going to be stressful and also a huge part of it is for example like i said you know when i talked about venues and stuff it just depends on your style if you want something that has like more decoration of any that comes more like looking full or if you want a more bare venue and if you have a bare venue that just gives you the venue um you have to call a company for food you have to worry about um decorations you have to worry about the tables and all that so you have to contract a lot of more companies as for example the venue that i'm choosing it comes with like literally everything there's nothing that i have to worry about like oh you know make sure the food gets there on time or make sure it's warm you know when the guests eat it or um do we have enough tables or all the chairs lined perfectly did the company come did the flower company come and how they did they put the flowers where they're supposed to be and all that so um and get a coordinator too if your venue does not come with a coordinator then you're gonna have to have a host or you know sometimes the dj is usually the host but you know the dj is not gonna like tell your court when to walk in or you know stuff like that or conduct your um your guest for example like your guests are not going to go and ask for details of like oh you know of how you're running things or and all of that you know so you do have to have a host a coordinator during your wedding because maybe sometimes guests um have questions and all that you know so if you don't have that then your guests will always be going to you and so luckily our venue does come with a coordinator so we definitely don't have to worry about anything like that like they'll um we actually have an upcoming appointment that we're going to meet up um with the coordinator of how my court's going to enter how i want security to handle my guests if they want to show an invitation if we if my fiance and i want them to show a, uh, an invitation to come in um and all of that you know so there's a lot of little details like that that will make it more stressful that you have to contact more companies if your venue does not come with it already so that to me is stressful and when we first started um like how i mentioned earlier that we were going to go with another venue um with the first venue that was more bare we started looking into companies about food and you know seeing um about like tables and chairs and the pricing and for all of that and we were and it's funny because we were like already getting stressed we're like oh my gosh you know this this and that um but then when we switched on over to the venue that we're gonna have the wedding now like a whole load of stress just came off 
um, and less just worries about contacting different companies and you want to contact like five different companies for food because you want to see who will give you a better price and all that you know so um and it, the venue also even comes with two companies that they work with for photo and video so we didn't even have to like search for like 10 different ones like you just save yourself a lot of stress if your venue already comes with all of that so it has been st stressful but i definitely have enjoyed honestly i have definitely enjoyed the whole process because you know you're only getting married once well hopefully right you're only getting married once and you want it to be perfect and you want to enjoy the whole process and if there's one thing that at this point there's a little bit over a month until i get married but if you know in my whole planning process if there's one thing i can say it's just enjoy the whole thing and try not to get mad for the littlest things and one of the hardest things for sure for planning a wedding was the guest list and i think we did you know have a little discussions about like certain people and all that um but you just have to come to an agreement you know what i mean like you have to consider your partner as well like you have to consider each other and you both know different people and all of that so if you guys can avoid arguments on coming to an agreement and stuff like just remember when you start fighting like just think about like just step back and think and breathe for a moment and just say okay there's no need for us to fight in the process of planning our only time that we're gonna get married so definitely enjoy the whole thing um let me see here what is one thing you wish you did differently um well we haven't gotten married yet so i can't speak on the date of obviously because well we're not there yet but so far in the whole planning and everything up to this point i think not let people's opinions get to you i know that when you know when we got engaged then we started looking into stuff and i would share information with people surprisingly a lot of people had a lot of opinions and it in the beginning for sure it would get to me and i remember when we were looking for a date and stuff and i think when we chose a f when we had decided like a friday and all of that and the venue and re whatever venue you go to if you do your wedding throughout the week it's a lot cheaper like two thousand three thousand dollars cheaper if you do like a friday or saturday even like there's a different pricing between a friday and a saturday um so we decided to end up going you know with the friday and i remember i told somebody and they started replying back saying oh like why friday and um what if people have to work and have to get the day off like you know they have to pay their bills and started going into this whole thing where i'm just like at first i was like dang you know then yeah like why am i gonna do it a friday and all that and you know all these things like started coming into my mind like I'm, are we sure we want to go with this and all that and then i just you know thought for a moment why am i doubting what my fiance and i chose on just because of someone's opinion and they'll opinionate over everything to the venue to what food are you having to what hour your what hour is your ceremony gonna be at like where's your venue gonna be at all of these different things and i'm just like sure okay opinionate if you're paying for my whole wedding but if you're not then it's kind of like why are you gonna opinionate you know so i think that's definitely the biggest thing that i would change is if from the beginning i would have not let people's opinion opinions get to me um and that definitely just caused a whole more stress on me from the beginning for sure because then i would like second guess myself and doubt like on um, decisions we had made and all of that so i think that's definitely one huge thing i would have done differently what's the average budget my the average budget for a wedding if there's one huge piece of advice that i can give for sure when you plan one is you need to go in with knowing what your budget is don't start you know we wanted to go into venues first to kind of give us a base price for our budget and 
so that's why we went to go look at venues and stuff and maybe th that's something that you could do as well you know go look at different venues um see kind of the theme that you want to go with for your wedding um and you know go on from there but definitely you have to have a budget because then you're gonna get you know all these illusions and all these you know um this dream of how you want to have your wedding but you know you have a certain budget and you got to work with what you got so i would say definitely first establish your budget what is the budget for the dress what is the budget for the venue like everything you have to budget out everything because i can definitely say that everything accumulates really 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 fast um and it's like literally from like the littlest things um that you can think of you need to like budget out very well of how much you want to spend on your wedding um but so for me personally on my wedding dress i didn't want to spend no more than two thousand dollars that was initially my budget um i didn't want to go over that because i'm like you know i'm sure i can find a dress under two thousand still very beautiful and all of that um so i didn't want to go over that but thankfully the dress that i got and i didn't even know like i had tried it on and everything i was like um okay awesome like you know try it on i loved 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 it and when i looked at the price i loved it even more and i think it was like on special too like it was really cool but um with my veil my dress I got this corset to like lift up my um, breast because your girl gotten in. So I bought like a corset to lift them up. Um, I got my heels and a hoop skirt. Um, the veil, the dress, the corset and the heels, I got it at David's Bridal. Um, always try to look around, try to shop around. Um, if you can find cheaper um things because you know david's bridal of course they're gonna charge more than if you go to like other stores you know like those little hispanic stores i bought my hoop skirt at um this um swap me here it's good it's called like bonanza swap me and at um david's bridal they were charging me 120 for my the hoop skirt that's gonna go under my dress and the hoop skirt and i went to the bonanza i'm like you know what? i know i'm probably not at a swami or something i'm gonna find a hoop skirt way cheaper and when am i ever gonna wear it again you know so um you have to also like think about that too you can also rent hoop skirts there was this one that i went to that they were charging me 30 dollars to rent it which is super cheap um, so you have different alternatives you know you gotta look away, look around and see how you can save yourself money so the hoop skirt i did get it at swami i only paid 60 dollars for my hoop skirt which is half of what they were charging me at david's bridal they were charging me 120 at david's bridal my heels yeah my heels were i think 30 dollars or 40 dollars at david's bridal my corset was 80 dollars uh, I think you could definitely find a corset way cheaper somewhere else. Um, like Amazon or even like at the swap meet, the Hispanic stores, they sell all of that because of quinceañeras and stuff. So yeah, you'll definitely find that cheaper there. I wish I would have bought that somewhere else, but I didn't. So that was 80 My dress came out to 1000 700 something i can't remember exactly but it was like a thousand seven hundred so that was really good and my veil was 150 um veils at david's bridal are very um i don't want to say like very expensive but they are expensive i personally wanted a veil the cathedral veil which is the longest one that they have and my dress has a lot of detail on it so i couldn't go with a veil that had too much going on because then it would be too much going on so i got a very um simple one so i couldn't really go with something that had too much of a design but um the veil was only 150 at david's bridal which i think is a good price there was another one that had a lot like more lace on it and beading and all of that and that was 
$450 for a veil. It's crazy. I mean, if you're someone who just, hey, shoot, I'm only getting married once. I got the money. I mean, why not? Sure, spend all that money, um, you know, on your big day. But if you're someone who is doesn't really care for to say, you know, on stuff like that, then um, you can definitely find veils cheaper in other places. And it's the average budget. Sorry, it's like, you know, you start talking too much and you lose, like, Focus on what the question is. The average budget, hmm. I think, I don't know exactly to the T exactly how much we're spending for everything. But I think for you to have a nice wedding. In this case, like, well, I want an elegant wedding. So I guess I can speak if you want like an elegant wedding. Um, and this is like including everything, perhaps not even the honeymoon. You have to have, you need to go like... The lowest, I would say, for an elegant wedding, $10,000. Um, unless you want to DIY everything. I mean, that's also very stressful as well. But if you're good at that, I mean, you can save yourself a lot of money if you DIY your stuff. But um, I would say at least, at least $10,000 to have a good wedding. And to have, like, you know, something a little better... For sure, fifteen thousand. Like from twelve thousand to fifteen thousand, which is kind of around what we're spending twelve thousand to fifteen thousand. Um, but it's all worth it. And that's what I'm saying. You gotta set out your budget from the beginning. You know, talk with your partner and all of that, and see where you can come to an agreement and how much you're willing to spend for your big day. And how do you feel getting married? By the way, congrats. Um, I feel, and if you guys follow me on my social media, on my Instagram, you you guys are probably like, yeah, we well, you know, even like on my Facebook and stuff, like I'm, I post about it a lot and especially I've been posting a, a lot about it on my Instagram, especially, um, but I honestly am very excited. Um, it all feels very nice and you enjoy the whole process when you know it's the one that you want to get married with. I mean what greater joy you know what i mean like you're getting married i think that if my family or friends or even my fiance sensed you know that i'm not enjoying it's not even the process of planning but it's the general thing of getting married having a marriage thinking about you know having a marriage um that's what's exciting to me like honestly and i would if we were not able to afford to have a nice wedding and all we could do is just get you know go to the court and get married and that's where it ends like honestly i would just be just as happy because you know you're marrying you and you should be like you're marrying if you're choose you're choosing to marry someone then you know of course you know it's your love it's your one it's your person and i personally have enjoyed so much even though in the beginning it was stressful and here and there i get stressful now um, but I definitely have enjoyed um, this whole process, like everything. And as the days get closer to the wedding, I'm like, dang, you know, like my whole process of always going to, you know, Pinterest and like looking up stuff. Like my, if you see my Pinterest, like literally, you, like you open it. It's right here. If you open it, like literally, it's just all, you know, wedding stuff. And... I'm like, dang, you know, like, I'm not going to be, like, looking up inspiration anymore. But, um, definitely, it's just, it's awesome. That's all, like I can say. I, it's awesome when you're marrying the person that you love, the person. Maybe people have their opinions about us moving, you know, the date and all that. But I'm past, you know, letting people's opinions, especially about this. Because it's a huge decision to get married it's a very huge decision. I think it's one of the most important things that you can decide to do is to get married. Um, but if no one is paying for anything, as in like your bills and honestly, like don't mind the opinions, just do whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you and your partner happy, you know, just go for it. And I do feel, I feel very, very, very joyful and it's, it's a beautiful thing, and I would honestly wish it upon every girl to marry 
the guy that they love that they be treasured by the man honored by the man and that the guy tries you know to fulfill the girl's desires and i speak for towards to the girls right now because um and it's um, I, I don't say it because you know guys don't deserve it they deserve it just as much as well they really really do i just I'm, I'm saying it to the girls you know because sometimes i feel like sometimes we can turn it into as if we're doing the favor of loving a guy and i've always said this you know if you place yourself on a pedestal as in not that you think you're better than everybody but as in you give yourself value god will honestly bless you with your man and everything will just go accordingly and seriously you guys ever since we moved the date of the wedding everything had has gone smoothly my dress was not supposed to get here until october the last week of october and when we were talking about moving the date, I remember, well, I called David's bride on, and I had told my fiance, I'm like, I really, really love this dress. So it was like, you know, okay, you know, if we move it, we move it. If we don't, that's totally fine as well. But I remember I called to David's bridal, called like two to three weeks ago, I called and I was like, oh, I just want to get an update on my dress. I want to know if I can get it sooner, you know, and how all that works and um, my stylist, she contacted, she's like, let me call the corporate, then I'll go ahead and call you back to let you know to see what they can do. So she calls me back and she says, oh, like, you know, I called and actually turns out that they're um, sending out your dress today. And I'm like, well, like I wasn't even supposed to get here for like five, six months. And, you know, my dress had came back already. So and just like little things like that. Um, I know God has just aligned everything and he has um, just blessed us bigly and he's guided us in all of this and he's definitely been in all of this and everything just has aligned perfect so I feel I feel very excited not a question but you look absolutely stunning in your dress and you are one of my favorite brides so that's actually my stylist <laughs> she ended up finding me on on YouTube that's funny I um have been documenting my whole process of choosing a dress and trying it on and you know um getting alterations done and all of that but since i don't want to show my dress just yet until after the wedding so that won't go up till after the wedding but um when i went to go get my dress it kind of sucked when i went because the lady that had helped me she was not as um there we went to the back and we went to go try on all these dresses and I remember like seeing the um, other brides, you know, like the ladies, the stylist being like, oh, you just try this and try this and all that. And Mike just kind of stood there in the corner and just like stared at me. Um, that's like literally all that she did. And so I didn't have the best experience in you know my first time ever looking for a dress and then i remember when i came back i asked for a different stylist and i was of course still nice to the lady because i still saw her but i wanted somebody else and um so i ended up getting you know the stylist that i have now and she is absolutely amazing like she was born to like be a stylist for brides for sure very very lovely you guys will probably see her in my video um once i post like my dresses and stuff but she's so 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 lovely so thanks it's awesome that i'm one of your favorite brides um this alrighty so my literally my battery is about to die so let me get these questions in these are the last questions what are you most looking forward to after tying the knot i think step one is moving in together i think i'm really 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 excited for that like the whole decorating and like being able to go home together he doesn't have to go drop me off and then blah 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 and then we could just you know do what we want to do because we're married then we can go take trips randomly we don't have to let anybody know because we're married you know what i mean that's what i'm really excited for how long will you wait to have cute little babies we want to wait a couple years i mean i'm only 21 i'd like to have kids maybe by like 23 24 25 okay no like 25 would be really good but um i mean if it happens obviously of course we'll be just as happy and grateful 
so i would like to say maybe three to four years but if it happened sooner we're okay with that too girl at least i am honeymoon can i go question mark let's go cynthia you didn't take me to yours girl so so honeymoon where am i gonna go for my honeymoon i'm gonna go to it's called terranian resort it's a resort in california it's like an hour away from santa monica beach beautiful i'll put the link below if any of you guys are looking for something romantic you know but close if you live in the bad you just want to take a drive so beautiful very very beautiful you guys like beautiful we have a king room ocean front view room beautiful that's probably we're gonna have all the cute babies there Okay, last one. If you could change slash add, add one thing about your wedding, about your wedding, what would it be? Hmm, if I can change one thing. Well, I said earlier about, you know, not letting people's opinion get, get to me. That's like my number one. Number two would be... I wish I didn't know a lot of people because, man, the guest list is, I think it comes in second. It's hard to make you want, you feel bad because you want to invite everybody and then everyone, like, self-invites themselves. Don't you just kind of don't really like those people that just self-invite themselves? Like, girl, like, calm down. But, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I would change. I mean, I honestly don't know. I think the opinions when I'm sticking with that one and yeah i think that's all i think i'm done rambling if you guys want to watch another one of my videos you can click in either um in the bottom corners of this screen to watch perhaps my proposal or my makeup video i don't know like i have a couple videos up so if you guys want to go ahead and watch the those videos you definitely can if you're not subscribed subscribed to my channel subscribe to hit the notifications button so you know when i post a new video and I will see you guys in my next video. And remember, God is good all the time. Bye.